Welcome back. We are here on eToro looking at the oil WTI. And yes, as you can see, we are still in this range. And we will most likely be in this range for quite a long time. Oil likes to um, trade uh, in uh, 10 to 15 uh, dollar ranges. And as you can see at the top here, we have the 200 moving average. And on the bottom here, we have the 50 uh, moving average. And um, this market is moving really slow compared to what happened in the uh, coronavirus uh, when it started and also in the period when it bottomed and so on. So the, um, the days of uh, minus 30 in the market, those are, those are, those have passed. And what we're looking at the moment is a market that is behaving quite normal. It is now um, increasing, decreasing by 1%, a maximum of 2-3% uh, a day. And that is what we used to see uh, prior to the coronavirus. So um, the volatility is not the same as it was in this period here. And whether or not that, whether or not we'll see this kind of volatility again, it depends on um, if the if the virus basically gets a grab back on the European continent and other places uh, around the world. It of course is affecting the United States significantly still, um, probably due to uh, bad policies. I'm guessing, um, but but because of the production cuts and so on, we we basically see that um, see a market that is more stable now than it was before. Here we had uh, um, overproduction of oil, uh, subsequently as the demand was absolutely falling um, through the floor. So if we look at the technical indicators, we can see that the MACD, it is basically below the signal line and it basically is trending downwards. The same goes for the stochastic, it broke uh, the signal line here and it's trending downwards and also the RSI is trending downwards. All three indicators indicate that this market is about to go lower. So um, that also makes sense because if we look at the Fibonacci retracements, we can see that we have um, the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement just above here uh, in the range of um, around uh, $33, $33, uh, $43, dollars sorry. Um, so if we were to get up to this range, I would definitely be shorting this market. We, we don't just have uh, all three indicators indicating that we are about to go lower. We also have the Fibonacci uh, retracement level here indicating that this would probably be major resistance level, level. And also we have the 200 moving average trending downwards. And at some point we will basically get a collision between um, the price and the 200 moving average. And that will most likely signal that we'll go lower. In other cases, if we were to break this uh, Fibonacci retracement level and break the 200 moving average, we will uh, go to the 49, 40, 50 uh, level around this area here, which be, will be a uh, major um, resistance. You can see just how much um, we have to go through here in order to, to go above. I don't expect that to happen. There is um, there is not the same economic activity in the world uh, as prior to the coronavirus. There's no reason why to expect why we should go back to these levels um, because demand just isn't out there. Uh, airliners are still not uh, on full capacity. Uh, cruise liners are technically not sailing. Um, and transportation is down significantly uh, compared to uh, prior to the coronavirus uh, because acti economic activity is much lower now than before. So 
I do expect this market to go down. I am not a seller, not a buyer at the moment. If we were to get down to these levels around uh, to the 50 moving average, I will be a buyer. If we get close to this area here, touching the Fibonacci retracement or the 200 moving average, I will be a seller. So hope you find this video uh, helpful. Uh, you're welcome to subscribe to our channel and to like and share our videos. So thank you very much.